There are lots of people in Steve's family. There are Steve, Mother, Bruce, Babs, Dick, Dad and Digger the dog. When the whole family is together, it's like having a big party. Of course, there is lots of work to do in Steve's big family. But work is fun when everyone helps. No one is ever lonely in Steve's family. Although Babs and Bruce are older than Steve, they always play with him. Sometimes Babs reads to Steve. Sometimes she helps him with words he doesn't know. When Steve gets into trouble, he can always count on his big brother. Don't let me catch you taking away Steve's ball again, says Bruce. Good for you, says Steve. He's proud of Bruce. He's glad he has a big brother. Steve is glad he has a little brother too. Baby Dick is Steve's favorite passenger. Steve feels so grown up when he looks after Dick. But living with brothers and sisters isn't always fun. Lots of times Steve wishes he didn't have a big family. This is one of those days. Babs is taking a long time washing up for dinner, and Steve has to wait. Babs wants to look especially nice. Later she's going to a school play with mother and dad. Steve doesn't care why Babs is taking so long. Hurry up he yells. Babs finally finishes. You. Yells Steve. You still look messy. But Babs pretends she doesn't hear. Just as Steve gets into the bathroom, mother calls him for dinner. Oh, I'm coming. Steven goes to the table without washing. Your hands aren't clean, says mother. But mom, says Steve. Babs took so long, I didn't have time to wash. Just the same, Steve has to go back to wash. No fair, he grumbles. After dinner mother brushes Babs' hair. What's so special about her hair? Steve thinks. Steve wants to go to the school play too. You're too young to go, says dad. Besides, says mother. Bruce is having a scout meeting. So please look after Dick. Soon the boys of Bruce's scout troop come in. They talk about hikes and axes and lots of other interesting things. Steve wants to listen too. But Bruce says, this is just for scouts. Later mother, dad and Babs come home with some friends. They look at the sleeping baby. Isn't he cute, says mother's friend. Such a fuss about a baby. Steve thinks. Soon it's Steve's bedtime. Gee. He says. Bruce and Babs are still up. As Steve gets into bed, he wishes he didn't have a sister and brothers. Then guess what? He dreams that Grandma is taking away Babs, Bruce and Dick. That's okay with me, he says in his dream. But then Steve dreams he's at dinner. It's so lonesome without the others. Then he has to do the dishes. And there's no one to work with him. In his dream, Steve wants to drive his train. But it's no fun without Dick. And here comes that big bully again. Help, Bruce, help. Shouts Steve. Here I am, says Bruce. Poor kid, he must be having a bad dream. Babs and Dick get up when they hear Steve calling. Boy, says Steve as he awakes. Am I glad to see all of you. After that night, Steve tries not to get angry with the others. When mother helps Babs, he doesn't mind because he remembers. That mother helps him too. He knows that she loves him just as much as the others. When Bruce doesn't want him around, Steve remembers. That sometimes he doesn't want Dick around. When people fuss over Dick, 
He remembers that all babies are fussed over. People fussed over Steve too when he was a baby. And when he has to go to bed before Babs and Bruce, Steve can't complain. He knows that Dick goes to bed even earlier. Now when he goes to bed, do you know what he dreams? He dreams about how lucky he is to have a sister and two brothers. Things to talk about. Do you have brothers and sisters? Are they older or younger than you? Do you quarrel with them? What do you quarrel about? Do you sometimes wish you were the only one? Why? Are you the only child in your family? Would you like to have brothers and sisters? Why? How can you make your parents proud of their only child? 